before we go any further, I am, uh, I keep forgetting to watch the Wrath of the Lich King cinematic. I was meant to do that like three episodes ago. Uh, so we're going to watch it now and it's on YouTube and uh, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever seen it. So I just like to watch it before we get started with the rest of our North Rend content. So let's, uh, let's get started. Son, the day you were born, the very forests of Lordaeron whispered the name Arthas. Man, I remember Arthas literally all the way from Warcraft 3 and played through that plot quite a bit. Definitely, character design-wise, I've always liked Arthas and thought he looks really cool. I don't know if that's a really good description of him, but in this cinematic, I think is one of the coolest looking instances of him so far, at least. My child, I watched with pride as you grew into a weapon of righteousness. ruled with wisdom and strength and I know you will show restraint when exercising your great power not quite sure I don't remember where he got Frostmourne from I forget now where he got that I, I really don't recall Big thing. It's a very big thing. Oh. Gosh. That's Saccharon, right? Saccharon's pretty awesome looking. He's stirring the hearts of your people. I appreciate I tell you this. For when my days have come to an end, you shall be king. I appreciate uh, the overlay of the of his father's advice and the irony of that. That's cool. That's a good cinematic. Not not super long, but it's a good one. Cool. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get started into the actual content for this episode. Okay. So uh, today is January sixteenth, which is video won't go for a few days. Um, but it's an important day because I believe today is patch day. So in a couple of hours, you can tell how early I get up to play because I'm pre-patch, and I think patch time is like. 7 a.m. Pacific in the U.S. That's around 10 Eastern, and it's like <laughs> it's like not even 5 a.m. yet. So I'm up uh, nice and early today, and uh, we're still again in Howling Fjord, and we've got these dark iron ingots we need to pick up, which I believe are just over here, which is strange, um, but it's coincidental. Uh, not coincidental, but it's convenient that the, the items we need are here, apparently. Maybe they're over here in this, this stack of supplies? Let's see. It says they're in this circle around here. Should I take a little peek around? Dark iron ingots, ingots, ingots. Let's check the quest. Anyway, so we're gonna work on a few quests today. 
Um, we're, I guess we're down to only a few quests left in Howling Fjord, but uh, we should be able to do a few here. I'm not down to a few, but like we've got a few in our inventory at the moment. We'll do a few here and then we'll head maybe over to Westcard Keep. Looks like we might be moving over there. And maybe even, I don't know if this is Kamagua. Kamagua? Kamagua? Uh, let's figure out this dark ending. It's okay. Um, speak with McGoyver slash target McGoy. I don't remember which one McGoyver is, unfortunately. Uh, well, I've targeted him now, but I don't. He looks like a gnome. I mean, is an oh there he is. there he is. Okay, so where's McGoyver? Got him. McGoyver is probably a play off the name MacGyver, which is a guy that would, uh, TV shows MacGyver in the 80s, 80s, at the 1980s, and, uh, he'd always make things out of something to solve a problem. Um, official Explorers League business, MacGyver, take me to the Explorers League office. Oh, didn't know that was there. I suppose we want to ride back to their Out outpost. The um, sure, that sounds fun. Can I help you? Then. That's convenient. I wonder if that was always there, um, or if that, like, if, if I could have done that uh, originally. I mean, it probably isn't honestly faster. <laughs> oh, it, like, stalled out. I was like, oh, gosh, it's gonna crash. I wonder if that was always there, or if it was only because I have already been to the Explorers League once that now, oh, my gosh, come on, come on. <laughs> That's kind of funny in a really scary way. Um, as always, uh, these videos are sponsored by Voodoo Realm. You can check the link in the video description. And uh, actually, I had I've got on. I, I really didn't. I didn't like comb my hair this morning. Um, normally, I sh shower after these videos, um, but I didn't even, like comb my hair this morning, which I don't know why. But this is like a hat from them, um, and I actually like their hat a lot. It's, it's not something I normally wear, to be honest. It's something I'm kind of new to because like it's really like flat, like super flat brim. But I like it. Um, I I usually I don't like some people will like crush their hats. You know, like they'll like um, they'll take the like, the bill and like smash them so they're sort of, like the fold like like this sort of like extreme I'm trying to get the line of the camera like a really extreme curve to the bill. I don't like it like that. Um, but sometimes I'll put like a, like a little curve to it, just like the slightest curve to it. I haven't done that with this one. Um, I could, but I haven't decided if I'm going to. Anyway, so I'm covering up my my bed head. It's a little early even for me to be honest. Like usually I'm not quite playing well before five these days, but anyway, I enjoy this view by the way. This is a very cool uh, flight. And obviously I could have taken this flight myself, but uh, I like it. Oh we got some uh, some coastal frost here. I don't actually know what the term for that is, I'm some ice. <laughs> uh, so Oh, yeah, I'm cold this morning. It's like, like I mentioned this before, we keep our apartment at about like 64 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. Um, usually, if we're here all day, we'll warm it up to like 68. Oh, okay. having the cured penguins. I've never seen those before. Frozen sea. Why is this taking me so far out? Where am I going? It puts me at Crystal Song Forest. What is that? Like, well, the Storm Peaks and Dragon Blight. I don't really understand where I am. Oh. Huh. So, if for some reason I got so far away, it just, like, said I was here in the center zone. Interesting. This is a really cool view. I mean, honestly, I, I like this flight. It's this is way slower than if I just flown myself, but it's probably way faster than if I was running. So, you know, I'll I'll take it. It's kind of it's a nice uh, detour for once. Um, speaking of, I don't know why this detour was speaking of. Speaking of detour, before we turn this quest, I'm oh, what is what is going on? The screen shake. Oh, hey, cool. Oh. It's a big dude. Before we go any further, I want to queue up for our dungeon as Joel, as Joel Narub, as 
as Joel, as Joel Nero. I've, I've heard this before from my moments from Warcraft 3. Um, in the Frozen Throne, we explore this a little bit. And. Oh my gosh, I just realized I forgot to watch the Wrath of the Lich King cinematic. Um, I meant to do that before I started Northrend content. I'm going to do that at the end of this episode. I think I'll record this episode and then stop a few minutes early and load that up on YouTube and watch that and record it. Um, I like having at the beginning of these, each of these zones, like each of the new uh, expansions, like I did that for Burning Crusade. Huh, whoops. Okay, well, that's Joel and the Root. Fine group. And I remember Ezreal and Arub a little bit, or all the Nerubians, but I don't recall much past that. Okay. Well, we're back at a Walt. Uh, we can rebuild it. Okay, let's complete this quest. Perfect. And, uh, if you're a turkey... Um, let's go recover some turkeys. We've got the grubs, right? I think I picked up a bunch of grubs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just need to go find some turkeys, so let's do that. I'm not friendly with the Alliance Vanguard, cool. So, I don't know how important that is, but yeah, we're friendly. Pure turkey. Okay, so how does this work? Go get him. Got him. Okay, okay, so I don't actually have to feed him, I just literally had to have the grubs in my hand, that's all. Like, I just had to have him in my inventory. <laughs> this is like, one of the easiest quests I've ever done. It's kinda cute though. I wish there wasn't a timer on the trained rock falcon. Like, it's... fine, but it you know, just, yeah, kinda slow. Get him. Alright, let's do a... Uh... Oh, I can't do coin of many faces. Got an hour cooldown, so I forgot the 24 hour cooldown, I just forget that. It doesn't really come up much for me, because I usually only play about once a day. Um, probably less than that even. And every time it comes up, which is pretty rare for me, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Can't use my point of many faces. What other toys do I have? Um... I have so many- oh, what the crap? Uh, well, got him. That's kind of mean. Alright, what are we- Burning Blade, ooh, Burning Toy, I'll use that in a moment. I was like, I kind of need to use some of these toys. I haven't used a lot of toys in a long time. Hmm. I need to get a Shovel Tusk over here. See this. I guess I probably should have like cast that and I could have been a little more efficient with my uh, killing, and it's fine. It's a work. Shovel Tusk Flank, I didn't do it. There's a calf. I don't know if the calf will actually drop what I need. We'll kill him anyway. I'm guessing there's like a specific. And the steel ribbon from the Vrykel, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get this, we'll get this. Let's do it this way, this is gonna be fun. Da, 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 da. Get him. <laughs> I don't know why, I, it, that's so satisfying. Um. Okay, that guy just, uh, <laughs> that guy just leashed on us and reset. Done. Okay, got that, that, now we need the Reichel. Hey, what I want to do is cast the guy. Pet or something, like a toy. I don't know which one. That one seems fun. We'll have our little antlers out. <laughs> I never use my toy box as much as I should. Like, it seems like a fun thing and I just never use it. Um... It's just like, if you watch my vanilla series at all, I'm always, always, like, constantly, basically, using my Furbog suit, which is, like, kind of the modern, or, like, not the modern, the ancient version of uh, a toy, and I don't really seem to use 
toys as much here as I should, I think, considering how much I like using them in vanilla. Alright, so what are we looking for? We're just looking for Vrykel, I guess. I don't know if there's a specific one I need to kill or a specific type. Um, I'm guessing it's not the really case. So I'm just going to like kill a bunch of them, and we'll go from there. Uh, I still plan to get heirlooms on this tomb, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. Let's, let's do this. Not so much that I will necessarily even use them, but it might be nice to have them. Because um, I, I don't know, like why not? I would like to get them. I heard they're going to be nerfed after this patch. And also this patch is going to change things quite a bit for me. In that, I think leveling is going to be quite a bit different after this. Um, I, I guess, I mean, this is like the leveling patch, I believe. So... I don't know how it's going to really affect things in, in terms of what, what I'll actually be doing, but we'll find out. And I'm kind of excited. I think it's going to be good changes overall. Um, yeah, I think so. I like these flying guys up here. They look so scary, like... Invalid target, I guess. I can't actually hit them while they're flying up there for whatever reason. Steel ribbing, okay. It's strange if you highlight these guys, they don't actually say that they'll drop what I need, and the, uh, the Shovel Tusks didn't say that either. Like, they didn't have, uh, any indication that they were the correct mobs to kill. So I'm not even sure if these are the right ones, but I think they are. It's like, blew the crud out of that guy and smoked him. Um, but I think these are the right ones. Rune of S... the, uh, as as Vizzer? I may end up, uh, let me double check the quest log and see. Um, yeah, it's just good, they should have what I need, steel ribbing. I'll double check around, like, make sure I'm not missing it um, somewhere else. Get him. Yeah, I definitely need to use my Inferno more often. Because <laughs> Infernals are so much fun. What does it actually do when it lands? I'll serve you for 30 seconds dealing strong. It, it, so it does a AoE damage in general. Get this guy. Come on. Get him Infernal. And what else does it do? It does a 2 second stun and 260 fire damage. There we go. Steel Ribbing. 260 fire damage seems really low. Like, that seems like an extremely low amount of damage still. But I guess the stun is really... Like, an AoE stun is a pretty powerful tool, even in, even for modern WoW, I think. Um, so I should probably just appreciate the stun and not, 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 uh, get too picky about the, the, the 260 damage. Okay, so we've got those two quests done with the technology and the ransacked caravan. We're going to turn those in. Uh, let's see, my nose is itchy. Uh, what are we looking for here? Okay, there we go. Uh, turn in the items. Yep. Yeah. 11,000 experience. Great. Okay. Alright, Super Lock. The time has come for you to climb inside this thing and learn how to use the basic abilities. When you're ready, get on the workbench and I'll get you situated. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna learn how to use the transportation system. Yeah, I'll do that in a moment. I wanna check this guy out. Hidalgo with the Explorer's Outpost wants you to use your train rock up and capture 10 fewer hawks. Okay. So I'm going hunting again, but I but I guess I need probably more of these grubs. I think I have a feeling, right? Yeah, grubs need grubs. Okay, well, I'm not going to do it just yet. Let's get on the table. Get on the workbench. Let's do it. Oh, oh that was fast. I'm a, I'm a harvest golem. Ah, that's really cool. It's sort of scary. Apparently I gotta kill this thing now. Do but I have like no actual abilities that auto attack, so I'm just like just just hands free here, just like let's let it do its thing. I guess we're winning this fight at least. Can't loot that either. Okay, whatever. I can't jump. Can I dance? Slash. Can I? No. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. 
Easy. Exit. Okay. Complete quest. Easy. Vault Explorer is a gay. Uh, apparently I'm not the only one? No, I'm not. Okay. Walt the Explorer's League in Helling Fjord wants you to use the Iron Rune Contract's Collect Data Ability while standing near the Iron Dwarf Relic. Watch your back. Okay. Let's go. Um, is this the thing I need to look at? Yeah, okay, this guy's in the same quest as I am. That's funny. Collect Data. We're lightning bolting this thing. Nifty. All right, out we go. Complete. All right. You always got to have a contingency plan in case your main plan backfires. Anti-intelligence systems. Okay. Anti-intelligence doesn't sound that useful. Um, bluff ability. Use an anti you confront and you'll be safe from harm. Test it out on Lebronski walking on his rug. And once he starts huffing and puffing, use the bluff. Okay. He was angry, so I bluffed. Hmm. What did he say? <laughs> Gwendolyn shakes her head. Damn shame what they did to that rug. Ouch. Gwen does not like that rug very much, apparently. Or she does like it. I don't know. I can't tell if she's being sarcastic. Okay, lightning infused relics. Uh, your contract is ready to go. Okay. Use the iron rune contracts collect a daily ability to collect 15 sets of iron rune data. Thundering cave. I want to explore this cave. Um, thunder shot from the cave. Okay, got it. So let's get on the goal. And where are we going first? Let's let's go. This one's closer, I think. Let's go to We've got. Rocket jump. We've got collecting rune data, and we've got use it to fool suspicious dwarves. Can I loot stuff while I'm in this mode? I can't do that. I need those grubs, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, the good news is these guys are generally friendly towards me. Can I enter the dungeon like this? Someone has declined. Oh, what a jerk. Is this guy following me? What's going on? Bluff. I don't know if that worked or not. What is it? I'm trying to bluff that guy. I don't know if it's working. <laughs> oh well. It seems like it worked. We'll, accept, we'll take it. So this is one of those rooms I need, right? Is this the sort of... Yeah, okay, got it. I got it. Okay. I don't want to go stand on these things in icy, so these are named ground level, level 1, level 2, okay. Ground level. Bluff. <laughs> it looks so silly. It just like, look at his little feet go. That's, that's very cute. I don't understand how that works, but I'll allow it. Alright, I'm gonna second up some of this data. Oh, we can uh, mine these guys. Cool. I didn't know that. Now we know. Hey, can I bluff this guy? Stop it. Oh, well, at least we do a lot of damage and we hit hard. So I can kill this thing. But I need to be careful because these things actually don't... I can't, like, bluff them away, it looks like. Which makes some sense, probably. Am I going to regenerate while I'm in this form? I have 46% health. I don't know if I will. It's kind of unfortunate if I don't. Oh, and I, I am okay. Forty-nine percent. I was worried. I was like, if I don't regenerate, it's gonna be really painful. Um, so all I'm doing here is collecting rune data right now. So that's really all that needs to be done. I don't think these golems will ever aggro on me. I think it's just the, the dwarves, right? It sort of seems that way. Let's go get this. And then uh, once I get all these, I will fly back up to the top and then go explore the... Why is that not letting me... Oh, it's on cooldown. I was uh, it's like, why is that not letting me like uh, investigate? I just want to investigate. Got it. 
Um, not investigate, collect the data, I guess I should say. I keep wanting to jump. I keep, like, spamming the space bar, like, trying to get a, some hops going here. By the way, I've been... Uh, what am I going to do? Sound. I kind of wanted to, like... Like, one click higher on my music. I feel like it's always a little bit quieter than I would like. And so I want a little bit louder music in the background. There's actually not a lot of music going on right now. It's almost... I can barely hear anything. Um, oh gosh. Let's whack this guy down. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this auto attack and uh, <laughs> sit peacefully while it takes care of business. Whack. Whack. Got him. Okay, good. Data collection. I appreciate that these guys that I'm clicking data for right in front of aren't um, aggroing onto me at all. The rune masters here, they don't seem to like the, all the ones that are standing right by the crystals. Don't seem to care that I'm just like right in front of them, harvesting their stuff, collecting their data. I was just thinking about this the other day on um, like the very first, maybe the second episode, the first episode where I really. It was like fully out here. Uh, we met the Lich King, and the Lich King killed us, as you may recall. Uh, I just want to bluff that guy away. Um, it made me realize that if I was doing like an Iron Man challenge, I would have been smoked on that. Like, that would have been so upsetting to die on a quest that like guarantees death. Especially if you were leveling like 1 to, you know, 70 at that point. Let's say roughly about 70, and you ran into that and died. That would, that would not be fun. Okay, I need to find my way out of here now. Um, well, I need to get one more crystal. Here it is. Top level, perfect. I was like, there's gotta be a rune right around here somewhere. And we gone. Just uh, magically flying with my little feet kicking. That doesn't even, like, defies all physics, but... Okay, so we're done with that, and now we need to investigate Thundering Cave, which... Oh, is that down there? Maybe, uh, it's down there. Yeah, I guess it is. Let's, let's fly back to the bottom. I didn't see a cave. There's a cave. I see it now. I see it. Okay, okay. So maybe I went too low. I'm going to go to, like, level one. I'm going to fly back up here. I think... Oh, I guess it could have ran up there. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm taking like the non-efficient route here, but I think this would be a little bit faster if I do it this way. Level two, level one. Let's try this. Oh, see a goal. I'm probably stuck in combat now. Nope, get out of there. I don't want to fight that guy either. I'm gonna do level, try level two. I just want to see if I get one that lands me closer to the. There we go, that's what I was looking for. I was like, it's gotta be one that lands me closer to the, the, the cave entrance here. Okay, I'm guessing this is the cave that I need. Oh, let's get the sky off us. Leave me alone. There we go. Okay. How much exploring do I have to do? Uh, investigating do I have to do? Thundering Cave investigated. Um, let's see. Sound of Thunder without the cave. Okay, well, that's a lot of Thunder Dwarves. Um, a Loken yells at Titan, come minions, your master calls, and then Titans in brackets. The work of your brothers in the Storm Peaks has reached a frenzied pace. Soon, Father will be freed. What is going on here? And it says, uh, your brothers in the north have subjugated the stone Bahamuts and set them on the path to Aldur. Soon the remaining defense of the Pantheon will be neutralized. The three fissures opened by the mortals of this region must be silenced. The earth hears and sees what we do and will continue to interfere with efforts if the way is not closed. Bury this place. The master demands it. Is it? Halt. Identify yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Okay. Uh, 
Is that the exploration as you do it? It doesn't really seem like I investigated it thoroughly. I wonder if I like need to investigate these crystals, you know, specifically. Not that, that like that exactly makes sense to me, but I'm worried I missed something. Maybe I need to like run through and click all these things. Oh, I moved. This guy has a jewel near his jewels. That can't be like accidental placement. Come on, Blizzard. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that positioning. Like. What are you thinking? So I, I haven't gotten the investigation to click, like it hasn't completed yet, so I'm just kind of moseying through here a little bit more, and I'm not really convinced that those crystals are doing anything, but I don't really know what else to do just yet, and I'm worried maybe I just need to like run into a certain, you know, sometimes you just need to like walk over a certain part that like triggers that it's investigated, and so I figure at least I might as well click all the crystals while I'm going through, just in case those are somehow relevant. Hmm. Enter dungeon as Joel and the Root. Let's hope our tank. I can't do that right now. Dang. I can't do that right now still. Okay. Oh man, so that's unfortunate. I, I don't know if I can explore that still while I'm, st while I'm there. Um, in fact, that might be kind of a painful. Okay, okay. Yeah, got it. Okay. Reclaimer as Zack. Death to the Traitor King. And Nubarak is the Traitor King. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, we're actually gonna fight a Nubarak? How is a Nubarak? He was like a big dude back in the day. How is a Nubarak just like a boss in an instance now? I feel like he should have been like a, a raid boss. Okay. So first quest, we got a couple quests up here. Uh, Irving Scourge takes destroyed, Anubarak's broken a husk, I just get that from killing Anubarak. I'm just leading the charge here, I was like, ah, whatever. We've got a pair of, uh, Warlocks in here today, that's fun. It's not a lot, not often I see Warlocks around, honestly. What is this? Webshot, movement speed decreased by 10%, that's, like, negligible. There are times where, like, I feel like in vanilla where I would get movement speed reduced by 75%. Seeing, um, 10% movement speed reduction is like, it doesn't even register in my mind as being a reduction compared to vanilla debuffs. I think we all get credit for these eggs. Ooh. The gate watcher. Scary. I guess a few of us need these eggs. Okay. Um, I am sorry. Good. Yeah, yeah. That's kill that guy. There's something way... I have like an aggro that thing's way far away. Let's get our doomguard in here. This is kind of a fun fight. I don't know why. It just feels very fun. Like a lot of stuff's going on here all of a sudden. Uh, let's kill that thing. I thought my... Uh, dead. For some reason I thought my... Ooh, that's scary. I don't have any AoE available right now, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I don't have enough. Okay, we're good. What is this? Deals 3 damage damage per second. Huh. Plate gauntlets. Don't need those. Well, that was kind of a cool fight. That was probably one of my favorite... Honestly, there's not that much going on, but probably one of my favorite instance fights so far in... Um, Wrath of the Lich King. So we got one of our quests done already. Two of our quests done already. We blew up the eggs and we got the talisman. Now, Hadronox is next. Hadronox is a giant spider. Again, I know that from Hearthstone. <laughs> I'm learning so much about this game from Hearthstone. There's Hatronox for self itself. I just feel like spiders in like science fiction or fantasy literature are female. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I want to do. There we go. Let's get that crusher. Okay. There's so many bad guys in this uh Place. Like, it's like, it's like little spiderlings all over the place, you know? Wow, that warlock is crushing my DPS. <laughs> like, 11, 10,000 damage per second. The rest of us are in like the 1 to 2k range. It's kind of crazy. I don't know where we're going. Oh, there's Hadronax. Okay, well, that's scary. Let's throw an Immolate on there. And, 
I don't like tanking all these things over here. I don't really want to do that. It's not good. Not good for me. Life step the web layer. Oh, hold on. Let's kill these guys. I should probably help kill these things. It's a lot of intellect. I don't know why it's not showing up. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's like a strict upgrade, but I'm not quite high enough level. And I don't have the appearance yet. Yeah, I'm going to need that. I don't feel too guilty about that. I've mentioned before, I've been trying to be more um, aggressive and needing on things. Just because, like, if I if it's an upgrade, you can't use it yet. I feel like it's reasonable to take it. And if it's uh, an upgrade, or if it's just, like a new appearance and I don't have it yet, then I'll take it. But that fight, I didn't like as much. It kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't quite ready for it. That is a cool looking staff, though. That's like a nice transmog staff. Life staff of the web layer. Cool. I am falling behind the squad. How do they even. How do I even. I don't see a hole here. How do they even find that? Um, where are they? Oh my god. I actually don't know where they are. It looks like they're like down lower. I'm like legitimately confused as to where they went. There's no way they dropped down there, right? I'm really hoping there's water down here. Okay, well, there's water down there. So they are over there. I got like so far behind them, like they really, really quickly I lost track of where they were at. I think they went through here. I mean, that was like really fast. Like I just like all of a sudden I was like, where's everyone? Uh, I hate that feeling. It's, it's something I've always had this feeling of in Legion or in just like modern where I was like, I get lost really easily. Like I'm not familiar with stuff and everyone just moves so fast. There he is. Okay. Well, well there's Ed Newberg himself. I'm not even going to get a chance to get a hit in on him, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe I can get a hit. Uh, land, land a spell, maybe. Yes, got him. And he dug underground. I'm like actually stuck outside the fight, unfortunately. Hey, but I landed a hit on him. So, <laughs> well, uh, I'll do something here. <laughs> Whoops. Um. Yeah, so I'm st oh, I don't want to stand under that. It's funny, you get like really walled out up here. I'm gonna let them pull aggro on these guys since they're not healing me and I don't know if they can. I'm not sure if they can like target me through this. I don't really want to be getting wrecked by this. You know, so there's a new wreck there, he's back. Dead. Got him. <laughs> I'm so helpful. Okay. Um, that is probably pretty much an upgrade. Yeah. Nice. Got that too. Cool. Um, it looks like one of my quest turn-ins, maybe all of mine, are right here. How is that? I, I don't really understand the turn in. It says it's like right here, but there's no one here to turn in. Oh, there. What the heck? <laughs> um, let's go turn in this quest, these quests as fast as I can. Oh, that was fast. That was a really fast instance. That's really, really quick. They're pressuring me to uh, either accept or get out, so I'm just going to click through these as quick as I can. Like some delays here. Just trying to click through. Okay, alternate and leave instance group. Okay, that first fight was really fun. That was a really cool fight. I don't know, it, it felt like there's a lot going on. It, it made some sense to me. It was I liked it. Second fight was kind of just caught me out of off guard and it was okay. Third fight, obviously, I kind of just missed, but it actually seemed like kind of a cool fight. Um, Explore a round of the Titan, the Titan statue and report back. Okay, I'm gonna go look at the Titan statue a little bit more. 
And I don't know if I can explore while I'm like in human f or like you know work in form. I guess I'm not sure if I can actually do that. Um, what happens if I mine these? What do I actually get? Speaking of which, is there anything here I can equip yet? That I can equip. Actually, those those are an upgrade pretty much. I think 18 haste is probably better than. That. Yeah, yeah. And this is, is this an upgrade or not? Um, say so yes. Yeah, so I got a nice stack there. That'd be kind of cool. Later on, once I get another level or two, I've got a few things I can equip. Um, so I'm gonna explore around the statue just on my own. I think I might be able to explore it, even though I'm not in my suit. It might might work. Whack this guy with our stick. I don't know, it's fun sometimes. Explore around the Titan statue, okay. This feels like the Titan statue here, right? Like, that's gotta be what I need to explore around. I'm just gonna like walk underneath it and mine. Maybe that'll trigger. I mean, it actually says like over here is what I need to explore more, but I, I don't... I don't know. Um, I'm just climbing on it. This 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 is the Titan statue, right? I don't know what else it would be. Hmm. Not sure. Feels like it should have triggered, you know. And I kind of want to complete the quest chain. Like I'm, I'm working on here, it'd be kind of fun to finish it, but something about it doesn't feel right. I might I might even look this up. I, I don't like to use like a database like Wowhead. But, I mean, if it's something like this, where I feel like it should be working, well, let's double check the quest one more time, okay. I mean, I really might need to be in the suit, I mean, it's really possible. Um, once I've completed the quest, dismiss it, yeah. It, I, I'm guessing that I need to be in the suit to complete it. Um, What's confusing to me is like I saw like the quest text, like like like, like the the dialogue triggered, and so I thought that would be all I needed really, but it's, it doesn't seem the case. Got him. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's kill all these guys, and then uh, we'll head back. I guess. I was gonna say, how do I even get out of here now that I don't have my suit and I guess I can just fly? <laughs> so, not so bad. I will, yeah, let's, let's head back and turn in, let's go do the Falcon quest first, and then I'll go turn in those two quests, and then we will try again on that discovery quest. I don't really know, still a little bit unsure about that. I think I need more grubs. How many grubs do I have now? I have one. I only get one grub per, huh, I thought there might be more per box. I don't know why I should know that's only one. That's fine. Kill this guy real quick. About halfway through the level. Got him. Oh, there we go. We got three in that one. I was gonna say, I thought we were getting... Apparently these are like instant respawns. Like, I don't even know why I'm... Like, like literally just about instant. That's fast. So we need ten. We got plenty. Okay. And the hawks are like these things, I think. So let's... Let's go over here. It's gonna be, there's a few hawks flying around. These are gonna be hard to capture, aren't they? How do I even, how do I even get that? It's like so fast. How do I even? It's like aggressive mobs everywhere. Oh, those aren't aggressive. How am I supposed to get those hawks? <laughs> oh, I see. I see. There's some over here on the rocks. That's the way to do it. I was gonna say, I was like, I can't like catch those things. They're too fast. Uh, got it. Let's go grab some hawks. Much better. Got him. <laughs> Apparently, I aggroed this one. So, we give it a second here. 10 second cooldown on this thing, maybe? I don't know, it seems a little long. I'm in combat? It, yes, I know I'm in combat. <laughs> I'm in combat with the hawk. That's insane. Okay, so I can't be in combat with the hawks. To be able to complete the quest, that's a little painful. That seems a little silly. Why can't you use that while you're in combat? You know, that's... All right, I'm just gonna look for some more rock formations and find some more hawks. Can I get these hawks? Like, out of range, out of range. I'm just targeting a fewer hawk. Let's 
So I can target those, but they just like move so fast that they like get out of range too quickly, it seems like. There we go. I did get him. Okay. Maybe. Okay, got it. <laughs> and now this one's gonna aggro me, I guess. So that's annoying. So you can't even like uh because they Huh, interesting. Because they aggro you, like they have like social aggro. Okay, this quest is terrible. I don't know if you guys just saw that. My hawk just disappeared. Like it never actually caught the thing and it didn't register as credit for it. There's gotta be more of these on the rocks, right? So those flying ones are basically, as far as I'm concerned, non-functional. There's some more hawks. That's kind of, I don't like these quests. Like, I don't know, it's not a, like in my opinion, it's not a very good quest, especially because like, watch, this one on the right now is probably gonna aggro me. Is that true? Yeah, that's, that's dumb. Like, to me, it's, it's, it's like, uh, it shouldn't do that, because, like, I can't use it in... I, I wonder if I'm, like, like, just wildly misunderstanding how to do this quest. But it seems to me just really, like... The one with the turkeys kind of worked well. Like, it was kind of a fun quest, kind of cute. This one feels like there's some, like, just some issues with the design of the quest. Like, the hawks should be neither neutral, they should stay neutral, I sort of feel like. Um, and not aggro you. And if they aggro you, you should at least be able to cast it in combat. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And these guys, they fly so fast that you can't actually... Like, they do make a, like a, I think, a predictable circle pattern. There we go, got one. Nice. Getting desperate for hawks, not a lot of spawns it seems like, so I need to get the ones I can, including the flying ones. I'll finish up the quest, but it's like, eh, a little, a little iffy. Um, how are we doing? Okay, I don't see any more right around here. Definitely getting the ones that are on the rock formations are way, way easier. There we go. Even if it aggroes the, the, the buddy that's next to him. I don't know if anyone here watches American football, but uh, there was a very exciting game. <laughs> a couple of good games this past uh, weekend for the playoffs. I don't want to spoil it just in case anyone like T-voted it and it's like days later and they haven't watched it yet. But man, it was like, like the final play of at least one of those games was insanely exciting. And it was actually kind of a bad play. Like it, like, it was a good play on, on the offense, bad play on the defense. The poor defender, I forget his name now, he was a safety, he like basically whiffed on a tackle that probably, I don't know, 95 times out of 100 should have been made pretty easily, but he did not make the tackle. It was rough. It was just like, I don't know how to describe it, it was like, if you didn't see it, it's kind of like you're running at someone that's standing still almost. You're running at someone that jumps straight up in the air and your job is to tackle them, and you dive at them while they're just in midair, and you just miss, you just dive right by them. That's literally what happened in that final play, which looks even worse in, in slow motion replay. Um, okay, so we were looking for more hawks, by the way. That's why I'm like getting off topic here, because they just you know, trouble finding the last couple hawks. We need less three hawks, I guess. Okay, so we just get ready to kill this one, because he's going to aggro one of us anyway. Got it. <laughs> okay, two more hawks. It's like one of the slower quests I've ever done, I think, especially in like modern WoW. Um, like I said, not sure if this is such a great quest. A little, at least they have a mount. It's certainly speeding up the running around of this quest. Two more. That's all I need. And I know there's some flying around that could get them, but like I said, those those aren't working that well for me, so I'm gonna aim for these guys. There we go, got one more. And let's finish this, find one last hawk. I guess I could like run away from those hawks, like lose aggro, and then come back and get them. But that seems like running away to de-aggro them isn't really worth the effort. Okay, one more hawk. It, it helps at least I know also they're on those stones, so... 
my I'm just like kind of like looking for like uh, these stone these rock formations and that's like all I'm really looking for done okay let's go turn these quests and I think we'll call it a day here um, I haven't done it yet but I'm gonna go watch the Red Lich King cinematic and stick that at the front of this video um, just because I think it'd be kind of nice to finally finally throw that in there I've been meaning to do that for like three episodes now I guess I should have watched the original vanilla cinematic too at the beginning of the whole series and I don't think I did that so a little unfortunate all right lightning infused relics shock resistant hood that's a lot of stats but still not really an overall upgrade but enough friendly with the explorers that you get seems good and training okay complete quest oh it all go with Explorers League Outpost with me. Once you to use your training to rock up and capture eight Fjord Hawk eggs. Hmm. Okay, we can make that happen also. My heart sounds like the dollar in. Okay. Um, I think I will. Yeah, I will hearth dollar in just to get the like rested XP. Uh, next time I'll just start the episode, I'll just fly back here. Uh, but anyway, that is all for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.